Hey friends, welcome back to She's At It Again. My name is Tanya, and I realize that, like me, you have several of those days during the week that you just don't want to cook anything. Cooking is not in the plans, whether it's too hot or you're just too tired or a combination of the both. But I have something for you. This is kind of my secret weapon for those days when I just don't want to cook anything. If you have one thing left over and one thing that you might have to run to the store for, I'm going to show you how to make the funnest salad ever. Now, if you think salad has to consist of lettuce and a bunch of vegetables, I'm here to dispel that myth. So go with me as we make corn dog salad. All right, so cutting board. I have my little casserole dish. And it all depends on how big your family is and how much you want. Use a huge casserole dish, but you're gonna need two things. One is leftover cornbread. And I made a pan of really thin cornbread the other night. It's not normally that thin, but it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna crumble this up and put it in here. You can crumble it up into tiny crumbs or you can just break it into pieces like I'm doing. This kind of started out as a joke, but it's one of those things. I probably took a nap and just thought this up. I, I've never seen anybody make this before, but I thought, you know what? That sounds really good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. And it was so good. I joked about making a video of it. My husband goes, seriously? Corn dog salad? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I will. I didn't see any other ones on YouTube, so... That's, that's what we're doing. All right, so if you're sitting back going, but I don't have any leftover cornbread, then make a pan of cornbread when it's not chaos in your kitchen or it's not so hot that you don't want to, you know, heat the oven up. Just do it like some morning or late at night before you go to bed and then stick it out on the counter to cool. But it's just literally leftover cornbread. If you're from the South, you might very well have a stash of this in the freezer because we all know that Southerners save every piece of leftover cornbread and use it to make chicken and dressing around the holidays, which would be Thanksgiving and Christmas. But we will also... Uh, link the video to where I show how to make cornbread. If you're not sure how to make cornbread, trust me, it's if you can make a box cake, you can probably make a really good pan of cornbread. It's really not a whole lot different than that. Okay, crumbs off my hands. And I don't know if this is thawed out completely. I just took it out of the freezer earlier, but this is what we have here. And if you don't have these little cocktail smoky sausages. These are basically hot dogs. That's all they are. It's just, the key to this is it's, it's not cured. So look for hot dogs that say uncured or no nitrates or nitrites added. That's what you're after. That's just a better choice. If you wanna make better choices and you wanna feel better, then we gotta eat better. And that includes making better choices. You don't just go get those red hot dogs connected by a string and um, lots of artificial color in them and expect to benefit from that. Okay, I'm just gonna cut these in half just because they're tiny. They're still kind of frozen, but basically this is what I'm doing. There you go, that's it. Now, of course, we're gonna heat these up in the oven so I have the lid that fits on that. And we're going to heat these up in about a 350 oven, probably for about 20 or 30 minutes. Ah, probably 30 minutes because these have been frozen. But keep the lid on it because we don't want anything drying out. And we certainly don't want something on the top getting hot and the bottom of it not getting warm. So anyway, okay, so basically... 
this is what I'm doing. I'm cutting the hot dogs up, putting it on the cornbread, and we'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm ready to put it in the oven. Okay, so here we have our full dish. We will put the lid on it to keep all the steam in. And I'm gonna go put this in the oven out in the sunroom because it's hot and I don't wanna heat the kitchen up by turning that oven on. So we're gonna turn the oven on out in the sunroom and heat it up. But I'll show you what this looks like right before you serve it. We're just gonna take mustard and drizzle over it. If you eat ketchup on your corn dog, or I have a friend in high school that ate mayonnaise and I'm sorry, I, I love her, but that's just wrong. That is just wrong. Yeah, Cindy. Stop eating that mayonnaise on this. So anyway, we're going to put mustard on ours and enjoy this along with some other sides for dinner. So um, we'll give you a look at that in just a minute. Okay, so here's what we have for dinner. We have tomatoes from my friend's garden. Even though I have some, hers are prettier, so we're having hers. And there is our corn dog salad. And this is some leftover fried potatoes that I added some okra from my garden out of. So that is supper in itself, and we're just eating at the counter tonight. Thanks for sticking around till the end of this. I know it's kind of silly, but corn dog salad might wind up being one of your favorites. So thanks for joining us, and we look forward to sharing something again with you real soon. I'm fixing to eat now. Bye, guys.